Hello. I'm Pizza, Pizza Slutter, 9362. Not even close to that number, but you know what? Who cares? I'm here with Connor Maurer, the local skater in my neighborhood. And he has become nothing against him, but he's become a nothing to a something in my eyes. And he has destroyed multiple, and I, when I say multiple, I mean multiple. Multiple skateboards over the course of, what, two, three years? Uh, two and a half years. Two and a half years. He's destroyed more skateboards in his life than I have skateboards in my fucking life. But you know what? That's okay. We are here right now to bring you part one of hopefully, hopefully, wink, wink, possibly two, three, maybe even four. Four videos of broken skateboards and the stories behind them. So here we go. Connor, let's start out with the first board. What is this one to you? If you'd like to hold up the second chunk, most of them are busted in the fucking tube. This is my first, like, actual fully complete skateboard. Uh, I got this in Carney, Nebraska. Uh, yeah, the duct tape is doing what it wants. You best appreciate it. Maybe it would hold these together so we wouldn't have to hold it up with two people. But you know what? That's okay. Please, continue. Kearney, Nebraska. Yeah, I got this boy in Kearney and, uh, like, their skate shop is closed now, but, uh... 308 Skate Shop is closed now. Where he got the skateboard. One of the multiple, I'd have to say at least three, three of the skateboards I got from a skate shop here in town. That skate shop is no longer. Dead end skate shop, no more. God bless their hearts. Angie and Chad, wherever you are, I hope you're watching this. But thank you for the years of skate. And this is from Kearney, Nebraska. As you can tell by the stickers over here, 308. We will flip it over here later in the video to show you the grip tape, because by golly, it is magnificent. Continue. Yeah. Uh, I mean, there's not much else to say. It was a good board. As you can tell, the nose and the tail are ground down, practicing his nollies and manuals, nose manuals, whatever. He was getting started right here. This yeah. is where you see it, the deck. This is the deck that probably started it all. And the stuff, I don't know if you watched his YouTube video, but by golly, kid can skate. That's all I can say. I can well, also, oh, sorry, I can also scooter. Uh, I like to do tail whips. He can tail whip on a scooter. And we're not talking about the 80s nor the 90s version with the 5 inch rims with, I don't know, 8 and a half inch wheels. All I can say is when I rode those things, sketchy. They were sketchy. They had a handbrake, not a foot brake, a handbrake. Now we'll flip it over for the second part of the deck. As you can see, they are hands with mouths on them. I don't. That's cooler than any fucking grip tape I've ever had in my life. It's actually got graphics on it, people. Yeah. He got started on the right track. That's all we can say. Now, shall we move on to the next skate deck? Uh, uh sure. Alrighty, we'll move this one off to the off to the side. Now, I think this one right here, if I remember, so I can't remember back that far. I want to say this is a Simpsons deck. Yes. I think I nailed it. Yeah. On the count of it, it has a piece of pizza on there that I can make out. So yeah. let's show them. Okay. So. Speak it up. Yell it. This is my second board. It's a revive board. Actually, both these, my first and second, are revived. But uh, this is uh, Doug Desatel's Pro Model. And Doug Desatel? Yes. Doug Desatel's Pro Model Deck Second Board. Yeah. I was lucky to make off with an element. I can't even remember who it was. Chad Muska, he didn't do no element. I just remember him from the Tony Hawk games. But you know what? That's okay. So my parents could only afford me a 64 when I was growing up. So we had the the okay version of Tony Hawk, but that was it was Tony Hawk. Now, as you were saying about Doug over here with this deck, 
Uh, I know he likes pizza. That's, I mean, he's pro. He likes pizza. He lives in California. What else could you really ask for? Oh, like pizza? There's not much more than you could ask for. Pizza is good. Trust me. Every morning I wake up and I go to them pizza mines and I dig them straight out the ground for you people of Norfolk. Thank you for your appreciation against my pizza. If we flip it over here, not much to the grip tape. Uh, it, it just has thrash right and something about the Force. Uh, the Force? Everybody knows about the Force. Star Wars. Okay. Yeah, that's right, you turbo nerds. Yeah, the Force. The Thrash Red. Thrash Red was an original skate team started on 7th Street of Norfolk, Nebraska. If you know nothing about North 7th Street, you're probably a bitch. We may not have spent as much time on this deck as you did with the uh, first deck, or as I did with the first deck. But you know what? It's a deck. He started out, and he destroyed each deck before he got a new one. Not, oh no, the picture's broken on this one, or scratched up, I can't tell what it is. He broke each board before he got a new one. I like, this is deck I like two. Money. Yeah, because he is part Jewish, and you can tell by his nose. He loves walking the street for coin. Yeah. So we're going to move on to the next deck. Filthy Jew. I'm kidding. My family may be Austrian, and that may be related to Germany, but I had nothing to do with World War II. Now on to the third deck. Now what do we have here? It seems here you got a zero deck. Now I would have been creaming my pants as a youngin to get me one of these for Christmas. So much justice, West one. So much justice. Now I'm not saying anything, anything against the, the deck company Zero. As you can see, you can damn near, damn near mind you, make out the whole graphics of this here skateboard. Hey, broken. Maybe he was just getting early on in his life about grinding rails and just hammering down on this deck. Yeah. And what do you? What was your fondest memory about this deck? Uh, I don't remember a lot of things. I remember when the grip tape was orange. Yeah, this is a clear grip tape. Uh, I had clear grip tape. That was my first time having clear grip tape, and uh, I mean these boards chip a lot, but it's still a good board. I remember setting it up at the skate park with Kenny and Kaden. Uh, that's really about it. You know, and we'll flip her on over so you can see the uh, not so clear side of this grip tape. Yeah, it's kind of dirty. We bit dirty, but you know what? When you gotta step over shit from the haters, you gotta get a dirty deck. Yeah. A lot of people hate on you when you get started. But you know what? This kid does not fear nothing from them haters. around nobody will talk shit about you okay thank you for the advice indeed and we will this is once again this is pretty intact but the whole snapped in half thing he was getting started and i'm pretty proud of him for that further than i was we'll move on to this here fourth deck throw this down here in the shit pile uh-huh yeah what we got here, I can't even tell you. I not may have knocked over a shit ton of Star Wars there, Lego figurines, but I don't give a fuck at the moment. What do you have to tell me about this here deck? I can't tell what it is. Uh, it's a Plan B board that I won at a contest here in Norfolk. Well, did you hear that? You should have said, sister fuckers. He won it at a contest. He was that good at skating that he won a deck. A lot further than you did in life, I guess. How's that college education treating you? Dropped out? I'm sorry. Now let's show him this here deck right now. Okay, uh, I mean, I wasn't, like, gonna skate it because I wanted the deck, but I did because I wanted to skate. <laughs> I think, I don't know why, just, I, I wanted to skate it, so. I didn't mean, think there's not much else to say. He won it. Plain and simple. When was the last time you won something in your life? I could tell you 
Last thing I want, KEXO radio station coupons so I can go to Wayne Chicken Day Parade in 2003. I lost to a kid that went, rack, rack, rack. You kidding me? I can make better chicken noises than that. Check this shit. I lost to a kid that went, rack, rack. You know why? Microphone was off. I'll drop that motherfucker next time I see him in public. Anyway, so I'm gonna flip it over and show him this here bitch and grip tape. I ain't have anything as colorful as this. I had a new sidewalk chalk, but it didn't stay. I think we should it. Switch. Switch sides yeah. so they can see it. See, he's got the brain. I kind of have one. This here be Grizzly Grip Tape. I believe you got this here for your birthday one year. I think I was there for it. The Grizzly? Yes. I, the, yeah, I think, I think it's just... So. I gave him an independent Zippo truck lighter case. Minus the Zippo. My bad. Any good memories on this board? Uh, I, oh, yes. I learned kickflip body burials on this. He learned a kickflip body burial on this deck. When was the last time you could even do a kickflip on your fucking board? I can't even remember that time. Too much alcohol in my case, I guess. Anyways, on to the next deck. I can't even tell you what the hell image this is, but he probably can. Is this a Boba Fett or a, uh, oh, the baby face fell down. Is this a Boba Fett or a Leonard Skinner? Hell, we'll go with Gene Simmons from Kiss. Well, you are wrong, I'm sorry to say it, but uh, it is a Luke Skywalker. Luke Skywalker! I was close on the first guess, but nowhere near. We were close. I was close. May the force be with you, as his second grip tape said. Now let's flip this mamma jam over so they can see it. Got to push it together a little bit. Kind of like a Chinese fortune cookie on the count of it's broken. You can, see, you can make out his boots right here. And then uh, he's holding up his here fucking lat wand. But uh, tell me more about this here deck. The grip tape's kind of funky on her. What can you tell me about the bottom, Link? What did you learn on this deck, if you could recall? I don't really remember learning tricks on this, but I think I got this at Hastings. And that's the place that's closed down here in Norfolk now. That shit don't exist. It's gone. This here is what we call memorabilia. I remember going to there and buying me Conker's Bad Fur Day live reloaded for Xbox. Not Xbox 360, not Xbox One, no. Xbox. 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 Yeah, the first console you could actually download a goddamn CD on CD. and listen to that music. CD stands for compact disc for all you there noobs that you don't know what it is. Noobs. Nubs. Noobs. Same. What's the diff? Anyways, we're gonna flip this here mamma jam on over. Look at that. That is some... I don't know if you can see that. There are swoop marks all the way down that their grip tape. That is interesting. I'm proud of that. I ain't had nothing to do with it, but I'm proud of it. It looks beautiful. Looks like somebody took a magic marker and made sweet love to it and ran it on down to skateboard. I bet you grinded, did a couple 50-50 grinds on a church walkway for this one. I take it. No. No? You didn't defile a church in the name of Jesus, Lord and Savior himself? No. That's good. That means there is 100% Satan running through this board. My name's Randall Whithelm, a.k.a. Pizza Slutter 3652. And here's Connor Maurer, the kid that destroyed all these skateboards. Not in a bad way. He just pushed his limit. He wanted to learn something that he's good at, and he did it. Please join us for part two of this here segment of Connor Skateboards. Hope to see you there. Bye.